Let's get started with an overview of your Atlas 360 dealer portal. After receiving your Atlas 360 login credentials, you'll be able to log in and view your dashboard. In your dashboard, you'll be able to see all the real-time status of your primary controllers. Under Admin, you will be able to see your current customers, their information, and even create a new account. When creating a new account, fill out the company name, account ID as well as any other information and descriptions you need. Under here you can give your customer access to their account. Just fill in their name and give them a username to log in with. You can also select to have a temporary password auto-generated for them. Or you could just simply assign one for them and share it via email. Now you can see this new customer account is created. Now let's take a look at how to add a panel to your Atlas 360 portal. Simply sign into the primary panel you want to add. You will see that it shows Atlas 360 is not activated. Click on the link and select Activate Atlas 360. Here it will ask you to authenticate with Atlas 360. For this, you will just need to use the same login as your Atlas 360 portal. Now you will need to choose which customer account to add this to. You can choose an existing customer account or you can create a new one. In this case, let's just select an existing one. Here you can name the controller the way you'd like to see it in your portal. You will need to then acknowledge that by adding this panel you agree to the terms and conditions of your Atlas 360 account. After completing the activation, the panel will restart. Back in your Atlas 360 portal, you will be able to see that the new primary controller along with any secondaries associated with it have been added. Now let's take a look at some of the features and benefits of using the Atlas 360 portal. First, we can start with doing a manual backup of the encrypted database to the cloud. You can also resync a controller as well as multiple controllers. You can also select to reboot a panel if necessary. You can also download and update the latest firmware to your controllers as soon as it is available. You also have the ability to download a backup of your primaries in case of hardware failure or if any information has been lost. Here you can see that rebooted panel came back online. You also have the option of restoring a saved backup to an already existing primary controller. The ability to save logs also helps our technical support team troubleshoot any issues you may be having without needing to use remote login services. Now let's look at the most useful feature, logging into your customer's panel with the click of a button. By clicking on Open Web Page, you will be automatically tunneled to the on-site controller. As you can see, this process was extremely fast and requires no port forwarding or any on-site network modifications. Log in with the panel's credentials and it takes you directly into the dashboard. From the dashboard you have all access to the configuration and functions as if you were on-site.
Let's go back to the Atlas 360 portal and take a look at some other additional features. Another update is that you can now receive your notifications via text, email, or both for any events or triggers you select. Under Admin, you also have the ability to disable a customer's account due to a missed payment. By disabling the account, they will no longer have access to their portal to manage remotely. Thank you for checking out our Atlas 360 overview. If you'd like some more information, please visit our website at atlas-360.com.